What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Mobile and my first impressions on the game, what I think about it and if it's going to last any significant amount of time. So I'm a little bit late to the party when it comes to Call of Duty Mobile. I was one of the last people that I know of to download the game and actually try it out primarily because I have no I, I had no expectations for the game. Um, I wasn't excited for the game. It wasn't on my radar. I didn't really care uh, because to me, I kind of had the assumption that the game was going to be literally just a, a microtransaction uh, chaos, right? That's really what I anticipated. And in, in many ways, I was correct about that. But um, because of that, I didn't really follow the hype. I didn't really care. It wasn't a big deal to me, um, probably because I'm more of a like traditional gamer, I guess you could say a lot of kids these days, kids who are much younger than me, um, and probably even you guys based on my demographics, kids, you know, anywhere from eight to 15 years old, they're very used to playing games like Fortnite on their phone at this point. They're, they're used to it. It's been a couple of years since big games like Fortnite and PUBG have been mobile. So for me, Call of Duty mobile was never a thing that I cared about it's clearly not for my demographic um, it's it's meant only mainly for kids who don't have a console or whatever the case is so I was pretty late to downloading the game and I just wanted to bring you guys my uh, my initial thoughts on playing the game and, and what we have right now today it's October 7th I've played the game for about two days and I admittedly haven't played that many games but I've tried out different weapons I've looked through the microtransactions the progression system I've played a couple of different maps different game modes uh, and I just want to let you guys know what I think about the game so first let me start off by just talking about the game technically speaking right so it felt good the game felt good it played smooth it looked pretty good um, I think the graphics were uh, a little bit worse than what we would be used to on the Xbox 360 it was pretty low resolution um, which is to be expected because obviously it has to play on a wide range of, uh, of of different devices but also over potentially over cellular networks and things like that so definitely on the um, uh, on the lower graphical quality side of things similar to Fortnite, but you know it it, it was fine I was used to it probably because I played Call of Duty on ps2 so like I'm used to um, Graphics like that, but it, it looked fine to me. It wasn't a big deal I wasn't like oh my god, this looks terrible like it, it looked okay. The game also sounded pretty good I didn't play with headphones. I just played with my uh, with the iPhone 11 Pro uh, And with the new sound system the 11 Pro it actually I could tell where footsteps were coming from even without uh, headphones and now granted I was playing in a quiet room so for me it was pretty easy I didn't need headphones at all but overall the game was fine the connection was good for me um, it looked good sounded good felt good it felt smooth so overall the game operates as expected and as I would want a Call of Duty to play it wasn't too glitchy I wasn't stuttering around the map um, it, it was it was fine now overall uh, it was playable on mobile I want to talk about this right because obviously up until this point Call of Duty has always been um, primarily on P on game on consoles obviously and also PC so we've been used to playing Call of Duty first person with a either a controller or a mouse and keyboard and playing on mobile was interesting um, I know that some people have talked have talked about being able to play the game with some sort of controller um, I don't know if this is 100% confirmed or if it's coming in a update soon um, I also know there are other people who are playing on an emulator using like blue stacks or something like that um, which is probably the best way to play but I want to I'll talk about that in a second um, I wanted to get the mobile experience I wanted to play this game on my phone and actually experience you know what the game how the game is supposed to feel right like when you're actually playing the game if you're on a bus or something like that or you're you know waiting at the doctor's office or whatever whenever you would be playing Call of Duty Mobile naturally out in the world away from your computer um, and you're not carrying a controller with you I wanted to play it that way and it was playable um, the controls were weird the fact that I couldn't shoot like I couldn't choose when I shot it would shoot for me when the crosshairs lined up appropriately that was a little bit frustrating to get used to because sometimes I would want to pre-fire a corner or I would want to you know snipe somebody who was barely visible and the 
um, crosshairs didn't register that they were on my screen and I was aiming right at them so it was a little bit frustrating but um, once you understand how it works it's not that bad aiming down sights was kind of frustrating um, aiming down sights is way better in this game than hip firing uh, which is not the not true for some console games so it was a little weird playing on a touchscreen I would say it was playable it works um, but when we're talking about a someone who's playing on a touchscreen versus somebody who's playing with either a controller connected to their phone or um, playing with a mouse and keyboard uh, it's going to be not fun like it's literally going to be night and day it's gonna be like the fact that you can play this on an emulator such as BlueStacks, I, I almost feel like that's how most people are going to play. At, at, like, if you want to play this game, if you actually enjoy Call of Duty Mobile, then you're probably going to be playing it on some sort of emulator like BlueStacks or with a controller because while it was playable with the touchscreen, it wasn't, um, it wasn't, how would, how do I say it wasn't comfortable right like it, it felt clunky there were times where I couldn't do exactly what I wanted to do which you know for a game that would that is new uh, would be normal but since it was Call of Duty it was frustrating because I was playing on maps that I was familiar with and I was playing with guns that I was familiar with and the spawns were very similar to to actual the call of duty maps that we've played uh and so it felt like something that i've done before and yet i was you know frustrated with my inability to decide when bullets come out of my gun uh, and also you know sometimes the sensitivity on the screen was a little bit high and i know you can change that um but it just it wasn't fine-tuned like having joysticks or mouse and, mouse and keyboard so the fact that some players are playing with a mouse and keyboard and you know they may be playing with a controller if not now but in the future um that's gonna make a huge difference in terms of performance in 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 how well you can do playing on my touch screen with just the phone i did place um either first i played i placed first place in like five of the seven games um or six of seven games and then the one last game i play second place um and i don't know if i'm gonna have call of duty mobile footage on the screen here if i can get it from my phone i will i did record a couple games but um regardless you know i did play really well like i played way better than most people and i just hopped on and played and you know it wasn't against bots or anything at least not to my knowledge i don't think they have bots in the regular team deathmatch playlist but even with it feeling clunky i still did well and um and that's saying something you know if, if i had a mouse and keyboard i feel like i probably wouldn't have died at all like i just it just it would be the the small the few times that i died it, it were random things and that would have easily been fixed if i had a mouse and keyboard controlling my character or a controller um so players with a mouse and keyboard are going to do way better and i think that's obvious so i'm going to move on to the next point and that is um call of duty players have an advantage here like clearly if you've played call of duty then you know these maps these maps are from the original modern warfare cod 4 they're from black ops 2 black ops 1 these are maps that you guys are familiar with um i i, I don't know the exact map list so some of those games might not be included but i'm sure they will in the future regardless these are all the the maps that i played um the few that i played were maps that we've played before so um i think we played uh nuketown we played firing range um we played uh i forgot what it's called from call of duty 4 it was like crossfire or something like that or Karachi something no cross I don't know regardless it was a cod format I could I could tell because I remember playing on the remastered version on the ps4 but either way if you've played Call of Duty before and you've played all the all of the call, older Call of Duties then a lot of these maps well, all these maps are going to be familiar to you and because of that you're gonna have a huge advantage just absolutely massive advantage over the most like the, the kids that you're playing against right like if people who are playing this are 10 years old um they were they weren't even around when call of duty 4 first came out right like they actually weren't so um you know the the, the kids that are playing might not have played these maps before and so if you have then you are you have a huge advantage over them because you just know where to go like you just know where they are um uav tells you a little dot on the map and you know oh well that building's actually two stories i know he's going to be up in the window like so if you've played call of duty you have a huge advantage and i think that's why i did so well when I played just hopping on and playing with a touchscreen getting used to the controls I still came in first place every single game except for one and it's just because I know Call of Duty like I knew the maps I knew the guns I knew how I knew what to expect and um 
I think a lot of players maybe don't if they're younger. Another thing I want to talk about is gun balance. The guns, there really there's only two guns that you're going to be using for the first like I don't know ten levels or something like that, which is a little bit silly because it was uh, what the M4 and the sniper rifle. I don't remember which one it was. Um, both guns are good. Uh, you can attach, you can put attachments on them to make them a little bit better. Um, but you know, I think the attachments, if they alter the gun slightly, it doesn't make a huge difference because really you're still going to be fighting with the control scheme if you're playing with a touchscreen you dying isn't going to be because you have five percent less damage that you could have gotten from an attachment uh you're dying because you missed your shots or because you you over swung your your first your crosshairs right because you're playing on a touch screen so you know some of the attachments felt like you know i i added them on and then i didn't really notice that much of a difference because you know most of the time i'm dying it's not because i'm outgunned right it's because somebody came up behind me or because i just couldn't lock on to my target with fast enough right so yeah the attachments they're there um the gun variation isn't there at the beginning of the game i will say the sniper feels very overpowered if you are if you're sitting in the back of the map and spawns aren't flipping um, there's really nothing that the enemy team can do I got over 30 kills um, probably 40 kills with the sniper and I got one hit marker um, so just keep that in mind and I was aiming for like the the hips right I was aiming mid body no matter where I hit them it was a one-shot kill and I think there was one time on firing range where I shot someone in the leg and I got a hit marker but most of the time you're gonna get a one-shot kill and that means that the sniper at long ranges is unmatched and very powerful like insanely powerful and um yeah so if you can snap onto targets quickly with the sniper rifle it's absolutely broken um with that being said close range it's impossible to get a kill like it's just it's not and you know the secondary pistol i tried that um it shoots in like rounds of four or something like that like the gun itself is semi-automatic clearly but um the pistol was utterly useless it's only useful if the person you're shooting at is not aware that you're there or you're versing somebody with a sniper who's already scoped in and again they don't really know you're there um so the pistol was trash i, I think gun balance is gonna be a big thing um uh, it definitely needs balance the sniper was super powerful i don't know how you can balance the sniper because if you make it a hit marker machine then it's going to be too hard to use because you don't get to decide when the pull, when the trigger gets pulled. So I, I don't know how to fix that problem. I, I'm not sure. Um, but the, it's really good at long range. Like it's really good. It, it, there's no point in using something else. It's just, it's just super good. Speaking of gun balance, this game is definitely going to be some sort of pay to win scheme, which is unfortunate. And which is also why I wasn't really excited for it. Cause I knew that they would do that. Um, but you know, you could see the gun stats at the bottom of the screen when you're looking at different weapons. And, you know, I will say there were, there were about 25 primary weapons that you could scroll through that were all locked, obviously, cause you have to level up, but, um, there were about 25 primary weapons like five secondary weapons um decent weapon variety i would say but you know if you go into the shop you can see that there are variants and different uh skins that you can buy for these guns and you can tell the stats are a little bit different so right now that might not mean much but six months 12 months from now when they're on season i don't know four or whatever the case is um they may release <clears throat> supply drops with even more powerful guns and you know it's it's gonna be like one of those gotcha games where you've invested so much time in that you have to keep investing time and money and um you know i just i i'm very aware of the fact that it's going to be pay to win and i think that's probably why i won't be playing it too much because um there's really not like i don't expect them not to make it pay to win you know what i mean like like with call of duty if we're talking about black ops 4 if it's pay to win then that's a shame right because people paid for the game they shouldn't pay to win um but for a free game it's like <clears throat> i can't really bash them for their monetary or their monetization strategy obviously a game like this that runs as well as it does at least from my experience um and is launched i think i don't know if it is it might be global at this point um they have to make their money somehow so <clears throat> you know i can sit here and whine about pay to win all i want but the fact is that it's free to play so if you want to pay the, the money in this game and try to compete then <clears throat> that's fine but i can't really complain about it being pay to win and again if it isn't right now uh then it will be soon no doubt and again it's not something that i really care about it doesn't matter to me that it is or will be um because again I'm just going to play the regular Call of Duty. Um, with that being said, it, it felt weird that some of the camos were $20 to $25. I think that's insane. Um, I was looking through the shop and I was comparing how many points you needed for certain camos with how much 
how much dollars those cod points costed and some of them you know cost uh uh they cost a certain amount of cod points that would be between two tiers of purchases right so it would be between the ten dollar and the twenty five dollar tier so you'd be forced to buy the twenty five dollar tier even though it costs less than the full twenty four dollar amount but you don't have a choice but to buy but to spend the 24.99 so yeah it's they're charging insane amounts just for skins on guns which is crazy and i've heard there are skins for pretty much everything in the game and that doesn't surprise me it looks like there are supply drops and all sorts of uh, micro transactions and also you can buy progression it looks like with cod points like you can actually buy gun experience with money like with real money so yeah that's insane um and then also there's a battle pass which you can purchase so there's all sorts of ways that they're monetizing this game and all of which it's going to make it unplayable i think um if it doesn't then it would be good for call of duty i think that if this game isn't pay to win by some miracle then it would be worth downloading on blue stacks or some sort of emulator or at least using a controller with your phone because you know it's good that there's a free to play call of duty i think it's good for the franchise but if it's pay to win it's just not something that i'm gonna play and that brings me to the final question which is is this game gonna be is it gonna have any staying power is there going to be any longevity to this game and i think it really it depends on how they handle the microtransactions and how they handle gun balance moving forward as well as how prominent the use of controllers and and mouse and keyboard or mice and keyboards are in this game and i think if you really love call of duty then you're probably going to use one of those two like if you actually have fun with the game you're gonna have even more fun when you use those because you're gonna do even better um so that's one thing um i think that you know it's really going to ruin the experience for mobile players because like i said it's night and day if you're able to use a mouse and keyboard with your with call of duty knowledge like it's like you're just playing against bots almost because they just can't do anything like they have a touch screen like you can't expect much so um yeah i think that's gonna ruin it for mobile players and also again if it is pay to win which i expect it is it may already be i haven't looked too closely at the microtransactions but it appears to be that way um then that's gonna ruin the experience and overall the longevity of the game so right now if you are enjoying call of duty mobile i would say resist the urge to spend any money on it because there's a good chance that um the game is going to continue to um be to include microtransactions more and more and more and if you spend 25 dollars now there may be a way better gun or way better camo you know only a few weeks away so you know with that being said just don't spend money on it for now see how the game pans out if it turns out it's not too much of a pay to win system then you know obviously support the developers if you like the game clearly i, I have no problem with that um, but for me i don't know maybe when i get my new computer i will download it to blue stacks and i'll try it there and see if i have fun maybe i'll look a little bit more closely at the gun stats and see just how crazy pay to win it it, it is or will be um, and I'll reevaluate the game in a couple of weeks. But for right now, um, it's just kind of gimmicky is really what it is for me. It To me, it just seems like a way to get Call of Duty in more players' hands, which is good for the franchise. But that doesn't mean it's a good game. And, you know, that's kind of my opinion and my stance on it. And as the game is now, I don't think it has staying power. I don't think it'll be around a year from now. Or it will be, but they won't be supporting it too much. Or they will try to and it won't have that many players so regardless that's my initial impressions on call of duty mobile um yeah it it, it has potential it really does i just literally have zero faith in them doing it right so that's why i haven't been hyped about it that's why i haven't talked about it that's why i didn't download it launch day and uh yeah so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video uh make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for more call of duty videos we do have modern warfare coming up very very soon less than three weeks away at this point um like the video if you enjoyed it links in the description below for all my social media as well as my discord where you can join talk to me ask me questions whatever you want to do just hang out share memes uh and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace